It's judgment day here in the Stadium of Light. It's the last and now the biggest home game of the season. And after Swansea did everyone a favour on Monday night, three points against Southampton would surely, surely be enough to guarantee Sunderland safety. Wouldn't they? <laughs> With defeat to Hull and Everton in his last two Premier League matches, the pressure is definitely building on Alan Pardew. But would defeat away at Cardiff this weekend mean he loses his job? We ask the fans. They're the driving force behind Newcastle Falcons' dominance of the RFU Championship. Whether it's their rolling malls, precise lineouts, or the sheer power of their scrummages, there's been no stopping the Falcons' pack. And Durham made a strong start with the bat in front of a club record T20 crowd. Phil Mustard chipping in with 91 runs, his side's highest individual score in 20 over cricket. The sign which read Shearer's hanging above this bar since it was opened back in 2004 now lies smashed into pieces at the bottom of this skip. Ball's reign got off to a flying start thanks to Emanuele Giaccarini. His left-footed close-range effort gave Sunderland a 1-0 first-half lead. Then, an hour in, John O'Shea was forced off injured and on his way back down the tunnel he handed the captain's armband to Lee Catamol. This fighting arts academy in Sunderland prides itself on producing the toughest cage fighters in the northeast. But could they turn me into one? Now I usually stick to football, but they say anything's possible at the Spartan gym, so let's take it away. If a 63-year-old man can do it, I think I can do it. So John's going to show me the basics of judo. What move are you going to show me, John? Ippon Sienagi. Here we go. For most Grand National winning jockeys, the morning after the night before would be one they spent in bed, but not for Ryan Marnia. Just hours after bagging the biggest prize of them all, the 23-year-old Scott was back in the saddle and raring to go for his ride at Hexham Racecourse. So this is a tame European eagle owl. If it was wild, there's no chance I'll be able to get this close right next to him. She's the European pool champion who cheated death. Emma Wilkinson was left with a fractured skull, swelling of the brain and broken legs after being hit by a car when she was seven years old. After a brief intro, it was time to get on the water. OK, let's see you pop, get to your feet. I'm freezing cold, I'm soaking wet. But for anybody wanting to get into paddle surfing, give it a go. It's easier than you think. Papi Cisse reckons Senegalese goat curry is the secret behind his goal-scoring form last season. So we thought we'd give a taster to the Jarrah Roofing Boys to see whether the magic potion really works. Well, the Jarrah lads seem to think it worked for them, but they left plenty behind, so I guess it's just more for me and Papis. 